everyone. Um, hope you're all having an awesome day. Today I'm back to share some projects that I've been making with the dyes that I recently purchased off of Amazon. Um, yeah, so if I have the sellers, I will try and link those down below for you. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop, um, jump in and share what I've been making. So I recently shared this, um, die with you and it's like a little box and it comes with an extra sort of layering piece it's stitched um around the edging and that so i shared that and this is what it looks like when it's all put together um so the papers i haven't got a clue what collection this is from it's just some papers i've had from absolutely years the Stickers here are actually from the collection Born to Shop. I think that's by Do Crafts. Um, yeah, I'm not sure of the make, but it's called Born to Shop. Especially for you was a sticker that was um, in a pack from the range. And this is what the layering piece, um, this piece on here, this extra rectangle stitched. That's what that looks like when it's cut out and this is th this is the box when it's all put together um i've actually put some little tea lights in here i'm gonna put this as a little gift um so it holds in here i've put um six and then i can show you what they so this is another one i've made i haven't obviously finished this one i've left it open um on here oh the rosettes on here I just used um, little cupcake cases um, I think I picked these up from Morrison's and they were like 60 cent P and there was like loads of them in there um, so I just kind of they're the same sizes but the the smaller one I just kind of scrunched it together a bit more to make a, a smaller size and I just did that with my hands I just pinched it Stuck a bit of glue, stuck the one on top kind of thing. Um, and then I've used various embellishments. This is just a sticker from my stash I've put on there. And again, another one of those sentiments. Um, yeah, so you can fit in, in here, I've put three so far. So you can put like two layers of tea lights. Um, and I think these tea lights I picked up from Asda. They do like a pack in there, different... Um, smells kind of thing um so yeah so i just thought they were really cute as a nice little gift it cuts really well this um die um yeah i only had to put it through i have a big shot just put it through once and it cut really nicely um and it's got all like the score edging on here and stuff so yeah i'm really pleased with how this turned out you can fit quite a bit in here and um, obviously I've put tea lights but you can use it for other other things um, so yeah I'm really pleased with that this is another example of what I've made just used a chipboard piece on here um, and again the papers are from that same collection but I'm not sure what that is and then I've just made a few other in this one I've just put a few of these um, cupcake rosettes is what I'm calling them um so yeah you just I just scrunched the rosettes together and um yeah just made this with various different stickers on top and just layered them up um I just made those ones um so that's that project um next one is this I shared these again I picked these up from Amazon and they came in a set of five is this that did I call it diamond something diamond art or something um, but it's just like all little tiny bits of um, uh, like bling um, yeah, and I have, I have again, I have shared this in a haul. Um, came with all different 
shapes and things and it was all numbered and that came with I haven't put up key rings on yet came with key rings for them and as you can see I've got absolutely loads left over I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use these for if you have any ideas I suppose I could use these as little embellishments on projects and things but other than that I'm not quite sure what to use them for if you have any ideas um, that we greatly appreciated of you know ways of using these leftover bits um, yeah and I think these turned out really cool so you've got the whole obviously to add them as charms but yeah I'm really pleased with the way they turned out what I would say though if you're going to do this I noticed once I'd um, put them all on and I did leave them overnight to sort of set I noticed that if you rubbed your hands on them they would easily come off so obviously if you're going to use this as a key ring um, you may add this to your car keys or door keys or whatever and they may go in your bag and things they're going to get used um, frequently and I did notice as you rubbed them they were sort of coming loose so what I did was I covered the whole thing with glossy accent um, literally I sort of poured a little bit on and then I used um, one of my tools and sort of scraped it all over like this um, and then added more um, let that set for um, to the following day and then I did the other side so it was properly set um, yeah yeah and these are as you can see these are definitely when I rub my fingers over them they're definitely not going anywhere now um so that's what I would suggest to do just so they don't they don't move um yeah so the last thing you want is you've them all coming off so, so that's those I really like this one I think this one and this one are my favorite favorite two so that was that project um next one is um these so i again i have hauled um these socks i picked up in my wilco's um haul and um i used the die from that i got from ks crafts i think it is yes it's ks craft so that's the shop that I got this um, die from. I, again, I, I purchased it on Amazon. And this is what it looks like. So you get the outer scalloped, really pretty pattern. And then the layering piece. And then this is the uh, sentiment that says cozy wishes. And then this is the um, like layering piece. So yeah, really pleased with this die as well. Again, cut, lovely. Only had to put it once through my um, Big Shot. And yeah, really pleased with how it come out. Again, I just used the same papers as the um, boxes that I've just shared. And just layered them up. Cut this all out. Um, stuck that down yeah and it cut all the um, the edging all out um, the one thing I would say is make sure that once you've cut one of these out because as you can see all the little holes so when you cut it out let's grab this die again all those all those bits of paper see all those bits of paper in there get stuck in all these little holes so I just used my pokey tool that I've got um, and you just got to sit there and pick it out the reason why I pick it out is because if you leave them in and then you go to cut another piece it doesn't do the dots because it's already filled with paper um, so you have to um, get them all out otherwise it won't cut out all the holes um, on the next time you use it 
Um, I did try um, tapping it because sometimes that can loosen all the um, pieces. So I did try tapping it, but that didn't work. <laughs> so it is time consuming because I had to sit there and sort of pick out um, all all these little holes. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing. But I, it didn't bother me. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's those. That's how I used those two. Um, what else did I make? So that's using that die set. Um, so then the next thing is I made was these. Now I can't remember what seller I pur purchased this um, bag topper from. If I can, I'll leave the link down below. The only thing I would say though is you see this um, edge here. Um, if I just ran this through my um, big shop, like with all the cutting plates as is, it didn't cut these little sections. It cut the middle ones and the dots out, but you see this edge piece here? It didn't cut it out. So I had to put extra, like extra pieces of paper um, for layering and then it cut it out um it didn't cut it out otherwise and if you try and sort of poke it through with your pokey tool it just ripped it so it was a bit of trial and error i did have to do it a couple of times to get it right um but yeah a couple of times it didn't it didn't cut it out i don't know if i've left right so this is one of the times as you can see on here um let me try and grab something So as you can see, hold on, that's not very good, is it? Let's grab. Oh, yeah. Oh, throwing things around. Right, so if you see the lower piece here, it's not cut out. So it cuts out the top piece and the dots, but it doesn't cut this lower piece. So this was what the first one I kind of did, and it bugged me that it wouldn't cut, cut it out. So then when I put extra papers in as you can see on this one it cut out both sections so it's an extra piece sort of layer there I don't know if you can see that yeah so if you want that piece cut out then you have to sort of layer it up a bit more when you put it through your cutting machine um because for some reason it's just not cutting it out that may just be my my, the one I was sent or it may just be how they're, they're sort of coming up so but yeah other than that I'm really pleased with it I like the way it looks um I've just made these little bag toppers to go on some um gift that I've got coming that I want to give out so I've done these two happy birthday ones this happy birthday is a sentiment which I've not I will quickly grab that. Um, again, I hold this sentiment, and this is this one. This is what it looks like. So it comes in two pieces. You've got the happy birthday. Oops, sorry, it's a bit twisted. Um, and then you've got the layering piece. And yeah, so I have hauled that. Again, I'll try and link it down below. So I used that for the happy birthday. That cut really nicely. I think this may have been from the same seller as what I got the um, bag topper from. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, that's the backing piece and then the sentiment. And then again, these were just pieces from my stash. Bit of bling. And I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Um, that's what the back looks like. That's that one again, just little bits of um, pieces from my stash button. That's the back of that one, and then this one I had this um, Forever Friends image left over from a collection I think I got from the range, and I think this may have been one of the sentiments from that collection, and then a couple of blings on there, um, and that's that one. So that is those. 
and then the next thing again going back to the born to shop this is all i have left of that collection um it's two little um sentiments um yeah and i had the papers some papers with that but i just made a tag using those this um piece here which i've popped up on foam was the layering piece from here so you can use you know those dies for other projects um a couple of pieces of scrap paper that i've just laid behind behind um a tag that i had just in my stash i think i picked these tags up from um the works i think they yeah they were in the works at uh after christmas time they were in the sale just added some cream ribbon now a couple of blings and then this is a sticker from that born to shop collection um so that's those that one then i made a couple of cards so we've got this one and it says um laugh and the world laughs with you snore and you sleep alone and again these are just i've popped that one up on some um foam and then this is a sticker and just quick little easily easy cards i did make these um envelopes using this um envelope punch board by um we are memory keepers i think that's what it's called isn't it i'm not sure um but yeah so i've just done that on the envelope Again, these stickers are from the um, Born to Shop. This one I am going to hide because I've put a name on the front of this one. Um, uh, so I'm going to hide that at the moment. But yeah, just stickers um, from the collection. Put a rosette on the front of this one. Envelope, little shoe. Um, again, use that piece from that die set. And that's the envelope. I'm just going to show you the front of the card. And this is the front of the card. It says best wishes. And again, just used the stickers that I had left over from that collection. Um, all the cards inside are plain. Um, and that's that. And then the last one is this one. As you can see, I'm kind of using up the scrap pieces of um, paper that I had left. And then it says birthday wishes. I really like that image. Um, so this is like a chipboard sticker, and then it's plain inside. So that's those cards. So that's those. And then the last thing I did a bit of crocheting, but not much. I just made this, and it's a mug cozy. So it go round your mug. I haven't got one to hand actually. I should have bought one to hand. Just goes round your mug like this. This will go at the bottom of the handle. The handle will be here, and then this would go across the top, and it just loops around this button at the top here. Um, yeah, I thought it was really pretty. Um, I just put a load of different buttons all over various different buttons sizes yeah i'm really pleased with how that that came out so that was the last thing i had to share with you i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you have any questions don't um hesitate to leave them down in the um description boxes and stuff the co comment section down below um yeah i hope you have an awesome day and i'll catch you in my next video take care guys bye